So unlike a regular patient, athletes require a different type of surgery in the sense that they require a more rigid and sturdy fixation. So I would use a plate like this, which is, is very thick, might be too thick for the normal patient, but it's extra important in athletes to have that rigid fixation that's stable that can endure hit after hit, year after year, for possibly many years, and then not only through their careers, I need it to st stand up for 20, 30 years after they're done playing. So the mesh that we use for most of the reconstructions is a titanium mesh that's about a millimeter thick, and it's pliable to the extent that I could, I could contour mold the floor of the orbit, which is a little bit of a concavity, or I can bend it to make the bridge of the nose, or I can use it for the cheekbone for stability. And then it gets screwed in with different size screws. And so once the plate is in place, it's stable and it doesn't move. And that's what allows me to get players back fairly soon because once it's fixed, there's not as much pain as maybe an orthopedic injury where patients are standing on it or, they're mo or other things are moving. For particular injuries of the orbit, there's a special plate for the orbit. And it goes along the base of the orbit with a little part that protects the side of the nose. And these little pieces here have little screw holes so they can be screwed into the bone. So that plate is rock solid once it's done. And then the eye can be pushed on or even jostled a little bit and the plate will stay in place. For jaw fractures, a mandible plate is used. As you can see, the, the metal is thicker and the screw holes are larger. It's important to get the mandible in just the right place because obviously it has a lot of important functions like eating and talking. Lots of muscles that can move the bones around so it really needs that extra fixation and strength of the bone. 